Thanks for watching Coin Collecting Fun, the king of hobbies and the hobby of kings. Hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and is greatly appreciated. And after this video is over, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. That video currently has over 2,100 likes, over 7,200 comments, and over 64,000 views. Let's get that video to over 5,000 likes, over 10,000 comments, and over 100,000 views. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. If you enjoy this type of content, crush the like button, crush the subscribe button, and if you do decide to subscribe, tap the notifications bell to be notified of future coin collecting fun videos just as soon as they're uploaded to YouTube. And be sure to share this video with all your coin collecting friends out there. So here is a 1984P Roosevelt dime, clad composition coin. 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. This coin was minted at the Philadelphia Mint and was designed and engraved by John Sanak. The diameter is 17.9 millimeters and this coin's weight is 2.27 grams. The face value is 10 cents. The numismatic value is also 10 cents for one found in average circulated condition, but can be worth as much as $2.28 for one found in brilliant, uncirculated, mid-state 65 condition, and that is at the time of this video production. Also at the time of this video production, the melt value of this coin is just 2.05 cents, so a little over two cents in the metal value of this coin. So not only would it be illegal to melt this coin down, it would be illogical to melt this coin down, as the face value far exceeds the metal value of this coin. We're currently enjoying a look at the front of the coin, or you may call this the obverse of the coin, or simply hits, where we see Liberty, we see Roosevelt, and God We Trust, 1984, which is when this coin was produced, and the mint mark P representing the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania mint. Also the initials JS for John Sinak, the designer and engraver of this coin. Now let's go ahead and flip this coin over so that we may enjoy a look at the back of the coin, or you may call this the reverse of the coin, or simply tails. And what a beautifully designed coin this is, both front and back, both obverse and reverse, both heads and tails. And as we enjoy the tail side together, we see United States of America, e pluribus unum, one dime. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. And drop a like and leave as many comments as you'd like on that video. If you wanted to leave one or two comments on that video, it would be greatly appreciated. Or if you'd like to leave one or two billion comments on that video, I will certainly not stand in your way, as there are no limits to the number of comments that you can leave on that video, on this video, or any coin collecting fun video for that matter. So leave as many comments as you'd like on that video. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. Also, check out Coin Collecting Fun on Instagram and on Twitter at Coin Collecting Fun. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.